Superior mesenteric artery syndrome is a rare cause of small bowel obstruction from compression of the third part of the duodenum by the superior mesenteric artery anteriorly and the aorta or vertebra posteriorly. The cause is usually from loss of mesenteric fat pad between the superior mesenteric artery and the aorta. Let's revise some anatomy. So here we have the stomach and the duodenum, the first part of the small intestine, which is held by the ligament of treats. The superior mesenteric artery arises from the anterior aspect of the aorta at the level of the L1 vertebral body. Above the superior mesenteric artery is a celiac artery and below is the renal artery at about L2. The superior mesenteric artery goes over two important structures, the third part of the duodenum and the left renal vein that then drains into the inferior vena cava. As the superior mesenteric artery arises from the aorta, it is surrounded by fat allowing it to extend at a particular angle between 28 to 65 degrees. This angle is called the aortomesenteric angle. The aortomesenteric distance is 10 to 34 millimeters. The superior mesenteric artery supplies blood to the small intestine, basically, the ascending colon and the part of the or majority of the transverse colon. Embryologically, these structures are called the mid-gut. So in superior mesenteric artery syndrome, what occurs is you have compression of the duodenum by the superior mesenteric artery against the aorta of the vertebra. The aortomesenteric angle is less than 25 degrees, and the aortomesenteric distance is typically less than 8 millimeters. Most common association is significant weight loss, leading to loss of the mesenteric fat pad, the yellow stuff here, and so reduced aortomesenteric angle, compressing the third part of the duodenum, causing a small bowel obstruction. So risk factors for developing superior mesenteric artery syndrome include significant weight loss leading to loss of mesenteric fat pad as a consequence of any medical disorders, psychological problems, or surgery. So for example, extreme weight loss can, in, can be from bariatric surgery, spinal cord injury, paraplegics, prolonged bed rest. Spinal surgery can also cause this condition through a correction of scoliosis. So, what about the clinical features? Well, superior mesenteric artery syndrome causes small bowel obstruction, which can be acute or gradual. Symptoms include abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and loss of uh, flatus. Patients with mild obstruction may have only postprandial epigastric pain and early satiety with associated weight loss. Symptoms may be relieved when patient is lying prone in a la left lateral decubitus position or in a knee chest position, like you're having a, a lumbar puncture. These positions remove the tension from the mesentery and superior mesenteric artery, opening the space between the superior mesenteric artery and the aorta. Findings on physical examination are nonspecific, but can include abdominal distension, if there's a bowel obstruction, a succession splash, and a high-pitched bowel sound. Another presentation of superior mesenteric artery syndrome could also include when the superior mesenteric artery compresses the left renal vein, which normally drains into the inferior vena cava. The left renal vein compression can affect the left testicular vein, which normally drains into the left renal vein. This will cause compression, congestion in the renal vein, the left testicular vein causing what's called a varicocele which is a painful testicular enlargement due to congestion of the venous plexus here. When the superior mesenteric artery compresses the left renal vein causing a varicocele, this condition is termed the nutcracker syndrome. Of course, the varicocele is typically the left side because the right testicular vein drains straight into the inferior vena cava. Diagnosis of superior mesenteric artery syndrome can be challenging, and it is uncommon with nonspecific symptoms. However, oral contrast can be used. 
So these are upper gastrointestinal series, which usually demonstrate delay in passage of the contrast from the duodenum to the next part of the small intestine. Imaging of the arterial system can also help with contrast through CT or MR. Treatment can be divided into conservative or surgical. Conservative, really, because weight loss is a big risk factor, weight gain is uh, recommended. If bowel obstruction occurs, gastrointestinal decompression with a nasogastric tube uh, is important, as well as correction of electrolyte abnormalities. In terms of surgery, if the condition is not improving with conservative management, there are three major surgical options. These are the strong procedure, where you have mobilization of the ligament of treats, allowing the displacement of the duodenum. There's gastrojejunostomy, which is basically when the gastric or the stomach is connected to the jejunum, the second part of the small intestine. Or, even better, a duodenojejunostomy, which is where the duodenum is actually connected to the jejunum, but more proximal duodenum is connected to the uh, jejunum. So in summary, superior mesenteric artery syndrome is a very rare cause of small bowel obstruction caused by compression of the third part of the duodenum by the superior mesenteric artery. It is associated with significant weight loss and treatment can be broadly divided into conservative or surgical management. Thank you for watching.